This is Red all over. Instant reaction to the 2-2 home draw to Reading. Uh, Josh, welcome. Nice to see you on Instant Reaction. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. So let's talk about the first half. So we do our usual uh, going behind, 1-0 down, and then we came back pretty quick. What do you make of the first half? Yeah, I thought the first half were fairly even, to be honest. I thought we set off um, quite, quite quite well, playing out from the back nicely. Uh, it was nice to see sort of some actual patterns of play in that as well, of playing it out from the centre the centre house into midfield and working it out wide each time. It worked it worked nice. We created a couple of chances, a couple of decent chances and a little bit annoying to almost be sucker punching away when Reading did score. Felt like just slight, slightly against runner play. Not that we're massively do dominating it too much. Um, but again a lovely move for for, for Adam Phillips's goal. Um, lovely take an header as well and then Second half, I expect it to just step, just step, step up that gear now. Look, we've worked his way back into it now. Let's let let's go on. Let's sort out this top six and and cement this position. And we just never really got going um, for me. And the only side that really looked like winning it were ready enough until well, realistic until they scored. Lovely finish from uh, Lewis Wing. By the way, that was some it. That two in two for him, two wonder goals in two games. I yeah, think. it's some it, it, it's some it, but for me, it should have been closed down. Should yeah. have definitely been closed down. It was very annoying. Um, and then lovely long throw from Big Baz. Naturally, um, Jallo uh, po poked in at back post, and then almost nearly won it for us. And it was just. It's, it's one of the things again that last five or ten minutes. Why can we not start like that? Let's start with that intensity, and then even if we drop off, at least. You've got you've got that confidence to build on it. Just feel like that's what's been missing for me. Yeah. So Andy, I think we started a bit more positive in terms of the side that he picked. Uh, you know, and no Connell. We still don't know what the situation is there. But Russell then started and then had to go off. What did you think of the changes that he made and how that had an impact on the game? I thought the changes were. I think the changes were fine. It's a pity Luca weren't able to play for whatever reason. I'm going to assume illness, but I don't know. He, he can't have been dropped. Um, I thought, as Josh has said, there was some intensity there. I thought we we started all right. We had the chances to score. They had a few chances to score. And then, of course, big Sam Smith from a corner nods it in. You think, oh, here we go. Here we go again. And, you know, if, if you listen to social media, there were going to be riots. Didn't see any of that. What I saw was a referee not giving a penalty for the third game in the trot when Cadden were... Stop! I can't get my head around some of these refereeing things. Three in three games, but anyway. So it's 1-0 down and then for the third game on the trot, not just not getting penalties, Adam Phillips drops up, bang, get in again, scores again. One all at half time. You think it's all, it's all to play for. The other scores were a mixture for us at a look at half time. Well, the second half, it showed a great deal of intensity. The run, you can't say they're not trying. You could, you could say last week, both games last week, certainly at Stevens, you couldn't say today they weren't trying. They got stuck in. Before half time, our jo Jordan Williams blocked a shot, laid down with his head. And, you know, if, if he's not bothered, you're not going to stick your head where you shouldn't. So for that, I thought, well done to him. And, you know, we looked all right. I thought the changes had, had gone well. I think McCart not being there. And um, at both Josh Earl and DeGivney, both closer in middle I thought that looked a lot better um, second half he just opened up it could have been 10 all in that second half they, they missed a few sitters we had a couple of good chances and then we had a speculative shot from about 30 yards from Lewis Wing and a prayer and sorry it flew in like a kestrel I'll stop with bird analogies and winging analogies so I thought, well, that's them. They're going to be winging now. I'm going to get on that. But then, as you said, big Baza Cotter comes on and changes game. The intensity upped. Barry, I, I say it so many times, I'm not sure Barry knows what he's going to do with it, but nobody else does. So Barry set off. He's at him. He got it all going. His long throws, they are exocets. Exocets. And really chuffed for Fabio Jallo to uh, to score what I think were a deserved equaliser. Um, and then we had a few good chances there. They, had some, they missed a few sitters. We could have lost that by a couple of goals, even from two all. But we could have won it by a couple of goals. Jallo, I mean, he got he got hurt doing it. It's in near post from where I'm sat in East, and that were hard look. That were hard look. And um, I don't know where it is with Devante. You know, he's four or five yards out and he's passed it back to the goalkeeper. I think, eat it, just 
hit it. But, you know, other results haven't been too bad. You know, football, seven days, they say seven days is a long time in politics. It's a long time in football because, you know, Lincoln, Lincoln City, a week and a half ago, were Barcelona and we're going to wipe the floor with everybody. Well, they've left it home to Wigan today and up popped Oxford. We are 5 0. They're hammering people now, so, you know, they're in the ascendancy. It's not great. It's not great that Blackpool won. Could have done without Blackpool winning. Um, and, you know, flipping heck. Peter got thumped by him. You know, Peter. So, the upshot of it is we're in a good position to stay in the playoffs. We what, is it seven points clear with three games left. So. Yeah. So, I, I think we. You don't want to give up. Uh, I might even give him a free pass on Tuesday night because that's going to be that's going to be some game. They need do they need to win or draw to to win title and go you know to Portsmouth. So there's a there's an away end coming up on that. Yeah, Portsmouth that went, fan. That went in early. That one. I've taken I've taken a while to get round to it, but I haven't brought any merchandise that you want taken off me to be able to show merchandise as well. But watch out for these. Watch out for the. Uh, for the away end show, because that's going to be a belter. <laughs> no, you don't even know. Let me take this microphone off him before we end up on QVC again or something. <laughs> so, uh, Craig, I thought generally our intensity was better. Um, what did you think? Obviously, you've been crying out for us to press and to attack more. What What did you think of the sort of the ninety minutes as a whole? Well, I saw a change in formation first thing. I thought, as, well, well it was just stuck me as um, with a five-two in midfield. A flat two, and then uh, Phillips, and then the two strikers, and then obviously after the after the injury to to Russell, to Russell, uh, Phillips then dropped back, and we went we had three up front then rather than the one and two, um, so that helped with pressing because we always had three men up up, up top end, um, so that took a lot of responsibility away from the two strikers that are normally left to do that all on their own. Um, also, as soon as we got the ball, Jordan Williams had slotted to right back, and O'Keefe would take off like a good and straight down that right hand side and turn into a right winger. So, which in its end got more bodies forward, um, which led to a lot more chances in the game for us. Um, obviously, the counter at that, we had a few counter attacking opportunities against us, but I'd rather watch a game like that than watch a game like we did against Stevenage. You know, an end to end game, and I thought first half, dead rubber. I thought both teams, no, nobody really stood out. A bit cagey, but also a bit expansive, a bit of good football. I think they were finding the feet a little bit. Um, second half, I thought we, we took the mantle. I thought we played really well in the second half. Um, obviously, that counter-attack was still a threat. Um, that, that long shot, by the way. <laughs> I, I sit at Ponty end, so I saw the arc of that ball. The wind helped massively, and Roberts overdove. He, he overshot it. Yeah, uh, I think so it'd be hard to blame Roberts for that. I yeah, think it, it, so I think I yeah. think that I think we're a bit unlucky with that, but we responded straight away. Obviously, Baza with that big long throw, we know um, <laughs> he can launch that ball. I'm telling you, Jallo getting his goal, um, and I'm not saying he took it from me, Collins, but I said get Jallo on pitch. I also said get Marsh on, but obviously he won't know what to be seen today. <laughs> but he got Jallo on, and to be fair, that fresh them fresh legs really helped because he was closing people down. I thought Devante sh showed a bit more energy than he usually does. McCart were. Um, McAtee were doing his usual running about um, and I thought we pressed a lot better put them under a lot of pressure to the point where they spent most of the game trying to waste time as much as they could you know uh, Button come on and having a, having a bit of banter with fans and that I love seeing stuff like that mate because it just shows that they're only human at the end of the day but uh, I think we're well worth the draw but unlucky not to win if there were a team that should have won it should have been us but I think I'll take that performance over what I've been seeing the past few games because that we, we, show, we showed at least some int attacking intent and intent yeah, to go out there and, and do and with something. with the intensity came the crowd and I think by the end, you know, we had a, the atmosphere was starting to build and we were actually pushing for a winner late on. I think when the seven minutes went up, there were only one team going to really nick the... It, yeah. But yeah, and I thought it was good to hear the crowd getting behind the team the, again. So it just shows you with the effort, intensity, that's exactly. It, that's it when people are saying, oh, what do we need to do to get these fans? Start playing. 
you know, show some endeavour, show some great determination, some tackling, some energy. Don't just go through the walk, motions. Yeah, just it's, it's like watching walking football sometimes. You know, don't do that. You know, you young strapping lads. I can't do it anymore, but y'all can. Go run around a bit, you know what I mean? Okay, so Josh, if we come back to you, let's look Let's look to Portsmouth then on Tuesday. Um, obviously, a, a huge game for them. We're thinking they probably need a point to secure promotion. They're, they're very good, been good all season, up there all season. What, what are you expecting? Are you expecting us to uh, go and sort of hold our own, or do you think it's going to be a really tough ask? It's, it's just one of them ones. It's going to be a difficult game, I think. Um, if we try what, what, what we tried today against Portsmouth in terms of playing out sort of in those triangles we'll get caught we'll get off, caught think, by him um, we had a few today and it's sort of we had the rubber green in terms of the quality um, of when Reading did nick the ball a couple of times Joshua tried to play crazy passes just mm. across that back three um, and it got picked off it's a couple of times we're asking for it a team with more composure would have picked it off and I think that's one thing that Portsmouth will do they'll make it hard we saw it um, when, we, when we played him here we got tight um, it was the one game where I saw Lapata sort of look well out of his depth of when he got close to uh, Colby Bishop and it just created so much space on the left hand side. So I think from that, I'm hoping that we at least all zone have a decent game. I take a point. It's a big good point for us. They need a point as well. So it's just fair. Let's just yeah, let's go for a point. Yeah, I'm not necessarily. I'm not expecting us to pick him up there because there's a much bigger game on sa on Saturday than falling against Blackpool, which has a lot more implications in terms for our season. But obviously, a win against Portsmouth does see us in top six, so I can see both sides of it. But I'd rather us almost have a bit of a rest on Tuesday, more or less, and then go for it on sa on Saturday instead. Andy, before you do your away end with Portsmouth and get all your inside information, uh, would you be happy with a point away at Portsmouth on Tuesday? I think every Barnsley fan would be happy with a point away. <laughs> A point away at Portsmouth. I think you know Portsmouth have got plenty of time to be able to uh, to get promotion and win the league. They've got a few matches to go. They don't. They don't need to do it on Tuesday. They need. They need to help us out. You know, we we've been singing their praises all all season and rightly so because the way they are because they're the the best team. You know, I know they beat us three two at Barnsley in a game of two halves. I know because I looked it back and Josh said it's a classic game of two halves. And then somebody it might have been you launched into it was you launched into. Uh, a whole load of cliches, yeah. but that game was a game of two halves. So let's hope, let's hope that we do. I'm, on this game, I'm pleased. Although I wanted us to win, I, I, I'm pleased that Reading's got a point because I had a lot. Of, I got a lot of a lot of friends from a couple of seasons ago when I became Reading clown when we got um, when we were relegated, and they mentioned it to me. Quite a few of them mentioned, it, but they all took it to the banter in great part and. They've been really good, you know, then and, and since. So I'm, I, I really, really don't want them to go down. But let's hope we go down to Portsmouth and uh, show them that we're not the dollies that some, some people think we are. So let's hope. It's, it could be one all. Gone early on your oh, uh, one all. He's gone early on a prediction, and it, and it weren't a two-one, Craig. So that's an interesting already from Andy. <laughs> <Take it. laughs> so, in terms of um, the way we play on Tuesday, would you like to see us play like today, or would you prefer us to be a little bit more astute in defence and maybe uh, a little bit more defensive? What do you I think? I think we should get in as turtle shell. I think we should just shell up. <laughs> do what do what teams have been doing it up here all season. Park the bus. Park the bus, and in Itamont County, we've got fast enough players to do it. You know, this is a team you can't go toe to toe with. Not with the, the, I mean, the season they've had, the players they've got, the confidence, the fans. I mean, there's just no way you can go toe to toe with a team like this and come out on top. When we, you, you look at the seasons that that we've both had in the form that we've both had. Um, last season, I'd have said go toe to toe with them because I thought we were we were just as good as near enough any team at league. This season, I think they're by far and away the best team in the league. So. I'm 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 looking past it to be quite honest. Cause to be fair, so long as it's not embarrassing, I'm not too fussed what score is. I'm looking to Blackpool to make sure we get some points there, because I don't think anybody's going to be saying, "Oh, you're not a proper fan if you don't think you're going to win." And all the, I mean, I'd take a narrow loss. I'd take a narrow loss, and I'd be happy with that. You know, two-one loss. You know, as long as it don't get embarrassing, like like three or four nil, then <laughs> that's what that's what I don't want. But yeah, I'd 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 shell up and I'd save some energy for the weekend. Okay, so we've got a one-one a draw, a two-one loss. Josh, you're the forever optimist of the of us all. Oh yeah, exactly. Um, so what what's your prediction? 
I think there's one thing there that Croatia's I want to pick up on realistically is sort sort of the gap, and I think that's one reason why I'm not too bothered for the group this season. Like you can't you can't be in the top six and and see a side top and go, I don't want any of that because well, what's going to happen next season? Mm. You got to look at all them sides that are already above us in Championship and the side that's top of this league. Like I'm not I'm not interested in that. If we're not going to toe to toe soon, which I think's a good idea and smart, I'll go. Uh, three one Portsmouth. Okay, three one. And let's quickly just go uh, man of the match today. Um, what do you think? Oh, uh, Jello obviously Jello got it in the ground, and, and I can see why because you know he scored yeah, his he first scored. league goal and he, he gave a performance. But what do you think? I'm off Adam Phillips. I think in that first half and sort of as well in the second half. F first half. Um, in particular, as Craig's mentioned, sort of linking everything together, bring the midfield into the game, linking with the front two. It's sort of, that's when he saw us sort of going to ascendancy from him. Get, getting beyond the front two, he saw that with the fact that he scored. Um, and then when he came and sat deeper in the second half, in that midfield two, because we, I think, ready and had clearly four in there. And they're just playing around them two, um, Herbie Kane and Phillips. But to say they were so outnumbered at all times, I thought they did a, a fairly good job um, for, for, for what they could do because you just never be able to cut, cut them out of ground that they do. So, Adam Phillips for me. Craig, man of the match? Um, I'm going to have to agree with Josh. I think the, 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 the golfing quality and possession that we had after Phillips dropped back, I think you can't be dumb enough not to recognise that because we, we started controlling the game from then on. Um, and with Jello up top as well, it just, uh, I mean, we started playing from then on. And um, yeah, his quality, we want him really high up the pitch. We also want We needed him two back. of him today, I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. We didn't know they've got two yeah. of him, Connell, but yeah, he yeah. won there today. Yeah, I thought, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, Phillips got, yeah. should get it today. Any disagreement? Oh, aye. Oh, aye. What you got to remember is that yesterday we got a mixture of players on the beach, players looking for the next club that they're signing for and all that, and they're not bothered, well, they were bothered today. So I think they all need a big shout out for today. A few passes astray, particularly from defence, where they intercepted and that were too easy, that were too easy. But they all deserve. But for me, despite I could get them all, for me, it would be two people. O'Keefe, because I thought he were outstanding today, O'Keefe and his replacement, Big Bazza Cotter. Wow, Big Bazza. He made it happen, so them two. I mean, I am president of the Barry Cotter Appreciation Society, so if you'd like to get a membership Yeah, but you've got form. to remember that Craig is also also the one that loves Corey O'Keefe and all. So I keep, do, I love Corey O'Keefe, he's happy. a great player. Exactly. So, uh, join us, join Andy for his away end. Um, when will that be out, roughly, do you think? Well, we've got to do it first. We're, oh. We're doing it at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, and as soon as it's done and uploaded, it's available. Tuesday noon then. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to the women's team uh, who play in the quarterfinal of the cup tomorrow. They are playing at the uh, AstroTurf and it's free entry so if you can get down tomorrow and support them against Bradford City that would be much appreciated. But for now, get your comments in the uh, section below and give us your predictions for Portsmouth. But you know, we're back in the, we're back in the z room, zone, whatever. Playoffs, here we come. You Reds. <laughs> Well, another uh, fun packed uh, day at Oakwell. Uh, we always do a favourite little trick, uh, letting them get in front. Then we've got to pull it all back. Um, it was an improved game today. It, we've been worse in the last few weeks. And let's hope that we springboard back into some sort of uh, decent form because we're going to need it in these next few matches if we're going to get through to the player. So, for me, it's a plus today. It could have gone an awful lot worse. And uh, let's look forward to uh, Pompey on Tuesday. You Reds.